News 5 investigation. Home Advisor says it recommends pre-screen contractors so that you don't get ripped off. But Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross discovered that the company is falling short on their promise to protect the customer. And Eric, as you learn, the San Francisco District Attorney is suing the Colorado-based company for deceptive advertising. Yeah, some pretty serious allegations outlined in that lawsuit, which we'll get to in just a moment. Here's the deal. Home Advisor is supposed to connect you with licensed professionals, but some homeowners say the company instead sends them unlicensed cons who take their money and disappear. Home Advisor conducts criminal and financial background checks on their service professionals. But that's not true, according to San Francisco District Attorney George Gascone. His office is suing Home Advisor for false and misleading television and radio advertisements. Find millions of reviews on top rated pros. Home Advisor, the free way to find and hire the best home pros. The lawsuit claims the ads are likely to deceive consumers and says Home Advisor performs no background checks at all on the employees who will be coming into a consumer's home. The only person who undergoes a background check is the business owner. The company also under fire for sending unlicensed contractors who show up, take your money, and never finish the job. There was damage to the roof, windows, the fence, the garage door, um, just everything was damaged. After a major hailstorm barreled through El Paso County in 2016, Sherry Murray found Dean Martin with Westwinds Contracting. Home Advisor lists his business as screened and approved. If only that were true, News 5 investigates checked with Pikes Peak Regional Building and found Dean Martin is not a licensed contractor. I feel Home Advisors lied to me as a consumer. I feel Dean has lied to me from the get go. And I just feel like, I feel like he totally took advantage of me and I feel like he played me. Murray says she paid Martin $16,000 to perform roof and siding work, but he only completed the roof. All this wood here was supposed to be replaced. And look at this. I mean, it looks like a kid did this. She filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau and police. Martin responded by having his attorney threaten legal action and requesting she withdraw her complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Colorado Springs police took Murray's side and an officer told the contractor's attorney that this was the worst paint job and work he had ever seen in his life. News 5 Investigates has confirmed police have an active criminal investigation into Martin. Yet Home Advisor still lists Martin's company as a five-star business with stellar reviews. We couldn't find any of these people that supposedly gave all these great reviews. And those great reviews have given other consumers a false sense of security. Last year, News 5 Investigates exposed yet another fake contractor who duped customers out of tens of thousands of dollars. Joe Pacheco, owner of JP Home Improvements, has no license, but somehow became a recommended contractor on Home Advisor. The TV's on, and here's Home Advisor. Home Advisor saying, We pick the professionals, we do the background checks. John Creek used Home Advisor to look for a contractor to remodel his kitchen. He's one of Pacheco's multiple victims. He came in and started June 1st and started disassembling everything, tearing everything out, and then left. Pacheco never showed back up to finish the job. He was supposed to put a floor, he was supposed to put new doors in, um, he was supposed to put heat in. Home Advisor also recommended Pacheco to Joyce Leary when she wanted an enclosed patio out back. After pouring the cement and putting up a few pieces of wood, Pacheco vanished. After that, I couldn't get him to answer the phone. And it's not just customers who have lost trust in Home Advisor's ability to recommend professionals. There was a lot of dead phone numbers. Some numbers were out of uh, town, out of state, so we didn't know what's going on. Dmitry Lipinski, owner of Storm Group Roofing, signed up with Home Advisor and claims he paid the company $1,800 for leads that ended with no job. It didn't work. The results was horrible. His complaints are echoed in this class action lawsuit filed against Home Advisor, alleging the company participated in fraudulent, deceptive, and misleading practices with the sale of bogus leads and soliciting new members through coercive means, including threatening to post bad reviews if contractors refuse to join Home Advisor. 
And once you join, Lipinski says it's next to impossible to cancel, something he confronted a Home Advisor representative about at a Home Expo show. We see the Home Advisor booth and they would call us in like, hey guys, come in, come in. And we're like, no, we're fine. Then they're like, are you haters? Are you haters? Like, let's talk. And we're like, you ask for it. So we come back and we film the conversation. Did you call oh, yeah. tell that you want to cancel? Mm -hmm. Did you, tell you, you guys would not cancel. You won't cancel. Yeah, you won't do it. Well, you know how many times and how many people try to cancel Home Advisor and tell them, hey, cancel, and you guys put it on pause for, instead of canceling, yeah. and then six months later you resume it? You would not go away. Once you sign up with Home Advisor, you would not go away. In addition to his roofing business, Lipinski also dedicates his time making YouTube videos about his experience with Home Advisor. Would you pay somebody $127 for the information that nobody knows is, is ex exists or anything? So you guys, you guys giving me a phone number, say, hey, this customer needs something. I call him 20 times, and first time within two minutes after you give me a number, you charge me $127. I'm telling you, hey, I, I don't want to pay it. It's not fair. And well, you would not refund it. One thing I will say is, you know, you, it's not guaranteedjobs.com. You know, you do pay whether or not you get the job, and your sales rep should have made that very, very clear. I get it. You'll charge if the it's not an investment, it's a ripoff. After this YouTube video was uploaded, Home Advisor offered to refund Lipinski $1,000, but only if he took down the video. It's a bribing, it's a, I mean, you're buying my freedom of speech pretty much. Lipinski said no. And if there's any doubt about Home Advisor's desperation to get contractors to sign up. To this day, they still call me. That's the most messed up part. They still call me to sign up. And the company is profiting. According to this class action lawsuit, Home Advisor took in more than $360 million in revenue just in 2015, upsetting news for people like Joyce Larry, John Creek, and Sherry Murray, who all now caution people about who they hire through Home Advisor. I'm out of this money. I'll never collect it. Just don't want anybody else getting screwed up. The Pueblo County District Attorney's Office confirms it has an open criminal investigation into Joe Pacheco based on our reporting and consumer complaints. As far as Home Advisor is concerned, the company will not comment on either lawsuit it's facing, but did tell us in a statement that it has placed Dean Martin's company, Westwinds Contracting, on hold while they conduct more research into this particular case. And Bree, I know a lot of consumers are asking, well, if we can't trust Home Advisor to find a licensed contractor. Where do you go? Where do we go? The simple answer is check with your regional building office. They'll be able to tell you not only if that contractor is licensed, but whether they pulled proper permits to perform the work you hired them for. Well, that is good to know. Thank you, Eric. And as always, if you have a problem or an issue you'd like News 5 Investigates to check out, send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com, or you can call our tip line. That is 719-228-6275. Here for Stiller 5 4K.